Hi there, welcome to another episode of Making Dough Shell, where we're talking about how we're going to grow our sales month after month. Today, we're going to be talking about March marketing and your game plan. Um, if you think that we're just going to grow our sales month after month without a game plan, you know that uh, that that that's not um, fulfilling fulfilling the potential. We got to be maximizing every opportunity to dominate our communities wherever we're located to grow our sales in different ways. And we got to have a game plan. And today, that is what we're talking about. I'm going to go over our monthly planner, particularly for March. We're going to go over different holidays that are this month and how you can market. Um, ultimately, if you take the time and fill out this planner and put it into practice, you are able to map out your whole month, whether it comes your email marketing, all of your social media, text marketing, all of your promotions. So I really hope that again, you put this planner into practice and make some dough. To download your planner, simply click down below. I'm going to have the link for you. There is a YouTube video that is associated with the planner, but we're going to walk you through it as well. We're going to have it on the podcast. So just walk you through the planner. At the end of it, you need to do the work. Sales goal 2020 Q1 goal. I'd like you to write that down on the front page of your planner. We need to have that in the forefront. So you've already gone through January and February this month. You know where your sales are at. That's going to give you an idea of based on our goal, what should our 2020 March goal be in order for us to hit our Q1 goal. Another thing you always want to have, obviously, is March um, 2019. What was your sales for 2019 because as you know we're always comparing month to month especially if you're like I'm going to I'm my hope is to grow 10% year after year month over month then you're like okay March 2019 we made I'm making numbers up 100,000 that month so we need to make 110,000 March 2020 if you are shooting for 10% sales growth hopefully more than that and all these stuff but so first we're going to set our goal that's where we're going to start what's going to be the sales goal for 2020 March so uh this obviously is going to take you two hours I'm glad you're here part of our community uh and hopefully as obsessed as we are about growing our sales crushing our sales in 2020 and beyond so you need to block two hours uh to put this planner into work please send me an email if at if you watch this video, if you download the planner and put it into use, if you would like to suggest modifications for our next month, I would love to hear from you. Just send us an email to Team and Making Dough Show. Know that this episode is sponsored by Making Dough Texting, is a branch of what we do here at Making Dough uh, Show, and that is serving restaurants with text message marketing. We are an agency. We have a team. We will set up text for you for the next month for the next quarter we'll share with you our strategies we ourselves have sent over a million texts to our own little restaurant well it's not a little restaurant but you might for our restaurants in the last five years we've sent over a million texts and we've been able to over triple our sales in the last three to four years if you are interested in how we do it if you would like to learn more about text message marketing and our strategies and how we can help you again it is affordable and it is effective let's chat and we can see if it's a good fit or not if you would like to try it for free i'd be happy to do that our team will set you up for you as well in the beginning of the year i shared with you and if you got there's an episode on the channel everywhere and that was about your 2020 marketing planner part of the marketing planner was assessing your current marketing machine you need to assess and this is like a little quiz that you do um, and uh, rating your restaurant on a scale of one to ten different aspects of the marketing in your restaurant ultimately you want to build a machine why is the machine because a machine needs to run without you someone else should be able to drive that machine and it should not ideally be you you just kind of give the direction of where the machine needs to go the vision uh, for different promotions or where again the sales goal and how you're going to get there but you you need to create systems when aggressively when it comes to the marketing of your business if you want your restaurant to continue to grow especially without you and your involvement so some of the questions it was where you scale you know kind of you rate your restaurant marketing is that I'm very happy with our restaurants consistent sales you know where you at with that right we have a strategic system in place to respond to our online reviews you know we have a pricing strategy that is profitable we have a written and posted marketing promotional calendar our website clearly communicates what we do and the reason this is and I'm bringing this up every single month is because you need to observe your what you assessed in the beginning of the year because we need to work on one aspect of the project so 
in the month of March, based on the scoring that you gave yourself, based on the March machine assessment, what's one aspect of your marketing machine that you can work on, that you can systematize, that you can automate maybe using software, or you can outsource it to a team member or an agency if it makes sense, if it's profitable once you do the math, that it does make sense for you to do that. You need to pick a project that you can systematize. Maybe you don't have your promotions posted. I got you covered. I'm going to go over March possible promotions that you can do for your restaurant again to save you some time. But choose one thing that you're going to work on. Maybe it's your content strategy for social media, whatever. Pick a project that you're going to work on this month, friend, and build that machine of yours. Next thing we're going to talk about is a budget. What is your March 2020 budget? You know what your sales goal is, and hopefully you have a high sales goal. You need to know that marketing is an investment. You need to have a budget for that investment. You know, if you're doing text message marketing, what's the cost on a monthly basis? You're going to allocate to that. If you do email marketing, there is a cost associated with that. If you do Facebook ads, if you're doing mailers, if you are going to be out, if out of some of you, some of y'all have like a marketing agencies where you outsource different things. Sponsorships, if you have uh, food donations, um, if you're hosting any in-store events, if you are paying somebody to create content for you, what is the budget for your 2020 that is going to set you up and help you accomplish your sales goal? You got to break it down. Do the math. I would love to hear what your marketing budget is. Again, email me. I'd, I'd love to hear it. Now, the next part of our planner is going over possible promotions that you can focus on this month. So you got to use this section to create engaging and timely content. That's going to help you with the social media. You can create social media giveaways, your food drops. If you were thinking about having uh, menu specials, hypothetically, maybe you do something for St. Patrick's Day, the time to plan and set things up and not only plan the food itself, but the marketing plan campaign you're going to have promoting that menu special or event or whatever is now, right? So we recommend you focus on one promotion a week and use our 10 steps to a successful restaurant promotion to blow it up. I'm going to go over some of those 10 steps here, but if you're interested in that, that's a free resource we have for you. You can go to Making Dough Show website, go to the resource section, download that PDF. It's a 10 step process checklist where we apply to every single promotion or an event or something like that, that's going to make everything that we do very successful. That's our secret. I'm sure sharing it with you. I want you to make some dough. Okay. Going back to this, the reason I do it this way is I've noticed for our restaurant, if I am heavily promoting multiple things every week, we have a, a special on a Thursday and we're hosting an event on a Monday and we got like too many things that we promote. It just, um, I mean, it may work for, for me. I'd rather have one event where we blow up and um, where every becomes a destination. For example, pie day is something that we do. Maybe you do as well. Obviously, we, we own pizzeria, so that's kind of what we do. But maybe for St. Patrick's Day, you want to be the place to be in town. You want everybody to tell their friends to come over for St. Patrick's Day if that's something that you do. Um, or again, for us, like Pi Day is a huge promotion and I already go, I'm going to have giveaways around it on social media. I want to use that opportunity to grow our email list. I use that opportunity to grow our text message database. I'm going to use that to create content. I'm going to get people to use a hashtag. Like I want to blow that up in terms of sales and content and like everything. So there's this event, uh, whole thing around it. So on a weekly basis, right? I wrote down uh, on the planner for you some of the things that you may want to consider. Spring break, uh, I wrote down what's our spring break. Spring break affects your people, especially if you have a lot of high schoolers or college students. It's important to know when is spring break. Not only that, locally, when schools are out, you're most likely going to be very busy that whole week all day long. So again, you want to know staff who's going to be out of town and some people want to work more, they're going to be available all day. So that's a week. That's why I wrote, I highlighted for you because something to, for you to consider. And then again, week by week, what's the one thing, maybe it's national meatball day. It's something you want to blow up because you guys have the best meatballs in town, right? So maybe that's something that you want to do. Another thing is look over some of the sporting events that are going on, maybe March madness or <clears throat> MLB opening day. If you are a kind of a restaurant that is more of a sports bar, if you have events around sports and stuff, this is the time to plan what's going to be your promotions for that. So I left that planner here for you for the month of March, again, to save you some time. Now, once you are going over here, circle out what you want to do. And over here, we're going to come up with our actual game plan. So your restaurants, weekly specials, promotions, and deals. 
I have this section on the planet for you for every single week, week one of March, week two of March, week three of March, um, what have you, you're going to put what's going to be, what are you going to be highlighting? What are you going to be promoting? Is it going to be a particular dish or a menu? For instance, that week when St. Patrick's is coming up, are you going to be promoting a particular dish that whole week, for example? Or, you know, we also have a weekly feed the family deal that uh, we text out uh, to our customers every single week. It's a different combo deal every week. And I will write down week one, it's a cannoli and a 16 inch two topping. Week two, it's this, you know, it's a order of tiramisu and a 16 inch specialty pizza. I'm going to write those down because I know I'm going to be highlighting them on social. I'm going to create content around them. <coughs> Again, that, that's kind of how this section is about for you to know what are you going to be highlighting every single week in the month of March. Next, this is part of that 10-step um, process that we have. So how will you promote the deals and the promotions that you came up with, right? Every week we came up with something. So we're like, okay, I do, for example, I'm going to, maybe you choose all of these or you choose a few of the following ways and methods to promote these deals and or promotions or events. Maybe it's going to be email marketing. If you, are, if you do email marketing, that means you need to have a subject line, you need text for the email, and you need photos. For text message marketing, it's only 160 characters. You don't need photos, you know, whatever. It's very simple to do, and that's why we're obsessed with it. In store, you're going to have a, a photo of, for example, I mean, maybe the, with the St. Patrick's, you're going to have a dish. You're going to need a photo of it and on it, you know, ask about our St. Patrick's deal or something like that. Or maybe you're going to have a beer selection that you do Irish beers, or a lot of people do that for um St. Patrick's, right? If you're going to be promoting it in store, what's going to be the game plan for it? You're going to need some images for it. If you are doing social media, hopefully that's going to be Facebook. You're going to need images. You're going to need videos. You're going to need text captions. Same for Instagram. If you are participating in your local Facebook groups, as you know, I strongly recommend it is free. We need to be present in our local Facebook groups. You're simply going to be sharing those, right? This is a checklist for you to have a game plan. How are you going to promote? It's not just enough for you to spend your time creating a special, creating an event and worrying about the logistics. You need to make time for the marketing. So are you going to have Facebook ads? Are you going to have send a mailer? You know, maybe you have a monthly mailer you send out those promotions or, you know, you're going to include, right? you got to come up with a game plan. How are you going to promote what you are coming up with. Next, I'm going to share with you, this is how we plan our media creation to promote these deals. So ultimately, whatever the promotion is, maybe the deal that I mentioned to you is like a cannoli, uh, a order of cannoli and a 16 inch two topping. And that is my promotion. I'm going to be telling a story about our cannoli. Maybe the, what's going to be the caption? Hey, this week we're treating you to our delicious order of cannoli. Our cannolis are, you know, this blah, blah, blah shell with a creamy ricotta sweet cream thing with chocolate. You know, tell the captions for your social media need to be telling a story. You already know that hopefully. So that's the section with a caption. I'm going to already sit down once and come up with a caption, whether it's for St. Patrick's, for Pi Day, you know, am I going to do a giveaway for Pi Day? I'm going to write down the caption. You can just, you know, use a planner. Um, I'm going to see, maybe I share with you the Google Doc associated with it. So you can just type in it if you find it to be easier. Then possible photos. I'm going to take photos of the cannoli and the thing. I'm going to have a team member holding it. So you're just kind of writing down what's going to be the media associated with this promotion, possible photos and possible videos. This is for you to create a plan. And that's why this is a planner for you to plan the whole month. But think about it. If you come up with all the captions that are associated with your promotions for the next five weeks of March, as well as possible photo things and videos, and you can involve your team to capture those footages for you, then the work is done. You know, that's how I operate. That's how I do it. Again, I spend two hours a month. I map out and do everything at once. I schedule them out. I automate them. I use you know software to automate everything and that's kind of what we do another thing i'd like you to consider is this month of march what are going to be some of the strategic partnerships and food drop strategies you're going to have in place three things that we know is going on is national dentist day and national doctor's day are you able to contact your local dentist and say hey thursday blah 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 is your you know is national dentist day and we would like to bring your blah 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 we, um bring you guys some food to treat you all 
you know, we're going to bring you three pizzas. You are going to hear, sometimes they're like, oh, you're going to bring us three pizzas. You know, we actually would like to order three more. So maybe you just take them three for free to order three more. But ultimately the goal here is to build relationships with those individuals, National Doctor Day or Dentist Day. Employee appreciation, there are a lot of establishments who like to appreciate their employees with food. So you could come up with a deal. You could maybe approach your local dealership and be like, hey, um, Thursday, I'm making stuff up. The 20th is employee, I wrote it down to the planner for you, but employee appreciation day. We do have a deal for that. You know, if you would like to order 10 pizzas, it would be this or 10, whatever it is that you sell, you know, come up with a ball catering order. If y'all are thinking, we're thinking about, um, showing appreciation to your employees with some food. We got a great deal for you. I want to share that with you, something like that, right? So you're sowing those seeds. They're like, oh yeah, we should probably appreciate our, our people, right? Including you and me. Obviously, we need to do something for our employee appreciation for our employees as well. But think about what are going to be some of the strategic partnerships that you're going to focus on this month. Next, we're going to talk about our content strategy. <clears throat> on the one hand, we talk about the promotions, right? As I said, like maybe your feed the family deal, combo deal you have, maybe you want to do pie day or things like that. So aside from those promotions that we talked about, what else would you like to highlight this month? Maybe it's a dish you want to highlight <clears throat> every week. Maybe you choose one item on your menu and you highlight those every once a week and, um, come up with some Insta stories or um, Insta posts and things like that. You share on Facebook to be in my points. Maybe some of the ingredients, maybe your people, maybe you want to focus on an event uh, that you're doing. Maybe you're hosting fundraisers. What are going to be, uh, you look at your calendar, you're like, okay, on week one, I'm going to promote our chicken piccata. On second week, we're going to talk about uh, how we roast vegetables, our roasted vegetables. On the third week, I'm going to talk about our people. On the fourth, you know, and then you're going to think about the stories you're going to tell. Keep it simple. Choose two things and tell a story. What are going to be some of the photos that you're going to need? What are going to be some of the videos you're going to need? Again, all of this can be delegated later to a team member. The vision comes from you, if you're the visionary of your business, if you're maybe the owner, or maybe you have, I don't know who does that in your business, but somebody in the company casts the vision of what you would like things to look like. What are you going to highlight? What are going to be the stories you're going to tell? And you're going to utilize your team to capture a lot of these footage. And again, there is a lot of uh, cheap um, like buffer.com. I use later.com. It's like $10 a month. You can schedule out your social media for the whole month and set it and forget it friend. So that was, uh, what we covered. We covered a lot of things. Again, we went over your weekly promotions. I shared with you the, you know, what's coming up in the month of March, you could do way more than this, but I promise you, if you simply focus on one combo deal a week, maybe one thing that you highlight, you know, it's national cheesecake day, um, cheese steak day. I don't know if that's something you guys serve or national spinach day. Do you use spinach in your food in any way? And that's the week you want to highlight that ingredient. For example, think about different ways you can use spinach cooked this way on a dish or not on a salad. You can create polls if they, people like spinach with this, or, you know, there is, a, then you can kind of be creative around some of these holidays, which hopefully is going to help you. Once you come up with your promotions, then you got to be thinking about how are you going to promote their promotions to, to make sure you get as many eyeballs on them. You want to make sure as many people know about the promotions that you have and different ways that you can. I'd like you to, uh, hopefully download the planner, put it into practice, uh, and make some dough. Let me know, uh, how it's coming along. How's your March sales? Is it going well? Is it not going well? I'd love to hear it. You can always send us an email to uh, team at making dough show and let us know as well. You can always connect with us again on YouTube channel. I read all the comments. You can leave us a comment on Instagram, leave us a review on the podcast anywhere. I would love to connect with you and find more and ways and effective ways to help you crush your sales in 2020 um, with wishing you much success friend. And now, as you know, it's time to get back to work and make some dough.